Tech Technology is probably my favorite technology. I've said it a hundred times for those of you that have an opportunity to meet me that, that anyone can start a plant nutrition company. I can start one today and call it Gunther's Plant Nutrition Company and I can have an analysis built for me. But it's really technology that makes that analysis work and makes that, that nutrition work inside of a plant. If you think about our intake technology, intake technology is really nutrients being taken to where they need to go inside of a plant. Think of it like FedEx, a delivery mechanism. You know, it does this by increasing the uptake and utilization and mobilization of nutrients in the, inside of a plant and aiding in that process. You know, when you increase nutrient efficiency, you optimize photosynthesis, right? Our plants are factories. They got to metabolize, they got to photosynthesize, they got to produce acetate. You know, there's so much going on inside those plants. If we can help drive that nutrition with the technology, our chances of success are greatly increased. So people will ask me, well, why? Why do I need that technology? Can't I just dump excess nutrition onto a plant, either in the soil or as a foliar? Guys, look, there's only so much we can get out of the soil or so much we can pack into a, into a foliar application. You know, today, Today our genetics have so much more genetic potential than what they had in the past. When I was a kid, if you got 180 bushel corn, you had bragging rights. Today, if you hit 180 bushel corn in some of the, like the Midwest, the upper Midwest, you know, you're crying. Um, you know, we're shooting for that 300 bushel plus corn. I'll tell you that the, the, the corn seed suppliers, well, all the seed suppliers, all cotton seed, it, it doesn't matter. All the seed suppliers have done a great job of increasing our genetic potential. It takes nutrition now, is going to be our next generation, to feed that, that genetic potential and drive it inside of a plant so that we can actually meet that genetic potential right, and increase our, our chances of success for yield. You know, I'll give you an example of, of how nutrition works inside of a plant. I like, I like to use zinc. So I'm going to draw a little demonstration of a corn plant. So I've got a corn plant here and I've got two root systems on the corn plant, right? So the first one is that seminal root system. That's what feeds that plant all the way through V5. So through V5. At V6, that primary root system, or we call it the nodal root system, takes over. But as that, that, as that plant is growing, it's putting on collars, putting on shirt collars, right? So zinc gets taken up by the root system and it goes to a growing point, it goes to that nod, that collar, that, that node, that collar and it just stays there. It's utilized and it just stays there. That zinc is still good. There are technologies, there are technologies that work to take it to the next growing point and then to the next growing point and to the next growing point. So that way we're taking what you physically get into a plant, what a plant can take up and making it more efficient once it's inside that plant. And that's where you start increasing your odds of success for meeting that genetic potential that the, that the manufacturers on, on genetics have done such a great job at. You know, if you think about this technology in a vegetative plant, so it's all about increasing plant biomass. And you, what you're doing is you're increasing that, that leaf index. And that leaf index is all about photosynthesis. Again, a plant is a factory and it needs to keep photosynthesizing and producing acetate. Well, think about it when it gets to reproductive time frame. Your plant changes when it gets into reproductive time. So in corn, when it starts to shoot tassel and it goes into to the R stages, what happens is that plant's now thinking about moving nutrients source to sink. All right, so what I mean by that is, is throughout the vegetative time frame, your plant builds up this biomass and it stores those nutrients in the stalk or in the, in the, the leaf tissue. Potassium, for example, 80% of it gets stored in the stalk. The other 20% gets stored in the, in, the, in the leaves. Well, when it comes reproductive time frame, we want to be able to mobilize that nutrition, take it out of that plant and put it into our grain. That's where we get our yield and our test weight from. Underneath our intake technology platform, we have technologies that are meant for late season to help drive that nutrition and mobilize those nutrients source to sink. And when we do that, we fill out the kernel, we get a deeper, heavier kernel, increased test weight, increased yield. And that's what we see as the results of intake in a late season application. It works the same for cotton, it works the same for rice, and it works the same for canola, and it works the same for soybeans. So the concept is the same across all crops. It's all about timing and the right, the right intake technology to go on in that application. And that's where you'll see the greatest greatest uh, return on investment um, w when you add intake technology with your plant nutrition program.
These are just a few of the Ag Explore products utilizing intake technology. To see our full line of products and learn more about our technologies, visit agexplore.com.